Ohmic heating process could be operated as batch or continuous mode. In this diagram, we could see units and their operation in the case of a continuous ohmic heating process for liquid or liquid with particulates. The main units and components are product tank, pump, valve, ohmic heating tube, electrodes, holding tube, cooling heat exchanger, filling tank, filling and packaging, electric power source. Liquid product is first pumped from the product tank to the ohmic tube and heated liquid is then passed to the holding tube. Hot product is then passed to the heat exchanger for cooling and the cold product from filling tank is then filled into the bottle. In the case of cold filling, the process should be aseptically. Otherwise, hot filling is necessary. Current is flowing from the electric power source which is parallel to the product flow. Perpendicular current flow configuration is also possible and I am going to explain it later. Aseptic filling and packaging is a processing technique by which microorganisms are prevented from entering a package during and after packaging. During aseptic processing, a sterilized package is filled with a commercially sterilized food product and sealed within the confines of a hygienic environment and sterilized conditions. Foods with a aseptic process are shelf-stable that do not need refrigeration. Ohmic heating is used in many food processes, for example, pasteurization, roasting, boiling, cooking, drying, sterilization, baking, peeling, microbial inhibition, extraction, and recovery of polyphenol and antioxidants. The setup and configuration of ohmic heating depends on the types of processes as mentioned above. In this video, I am only explaining heating of liquid or semi-solid products and batch extraction process. Ohmic heating process could be performed in a multi-stage. In this case, we could use multiple ohmic tubes. Product could be initially heated in the first ohmic heating tube and then it is passed to the second ohmic heating tube. In this example, three stages of heating could be achieved. That is, in the first tube, temperature could be raised from 60 degrees C from initial 20 degrees C as then in the second tube it could be raised from 60 to 80 degrees C and finally from 80 to 90 degrees C. Product and current flow directions are also shown in this diagram. In this ohmic heating configuration, current is flowing perpendicular to the product flow and we could observe two ohmic heating sections. In this diagram, we could see another setup when current flowing perpendicular to fluid flow. In this ohmic heating configuration, first product is flowing through the annular section of the cylindrical tube inserted with a cylindrical rod. And then product is flow across the medial rod and a current is flowing perpendicular to the product flow. Electrodes are placed on the ends of the cylindrical rods. In this diagram, we could see ohmic heating extraction process. Product is placed inside a rectangular container and electrodes are placed on the two sides of the container. Current is flowing across the product which is agitated with mixing blades. In 1919, Anderson and Finkelstein presented a mill pasteurization by electropure process using alternative current. The process involved the application of electric current directly through milk, resulting in the generation of heat, which was reported as responsible for bacterial death. In the original setup, ohmic heating units were arranged in a series of five porcelain cups. The cups were so arranged that milk entering into first cup was drained into the second cup and then the next one until the fifth cup. The electrodes were insulated rod 
terminating in a copper disc. One place at the bottom and another at the top. Alternative current was applied. I would like to thank you for watching this video until the end and supporting our channel.